Hey everyone, welcome back to the design system series on square and circle. In the previous video, we created a component set and discussed different types of tabs. Today, we're going to take it to the next level by exploring two powerful prototyping approaches. Get ready to transform your static tabs into interactive elements. I've provided some content that I want to display in my tabs. The first method for creating a prototype for tabs involves making a different page for each item. So let's start by creating a new frame. Press F and select any frame. Move the tab component into the frame. For the first tab, add the rooster content. Duplicate the frame. Change the selected item to the second item, which is the pig, and update the content. Make another duplicate. Change the selected item to the third item and update the content accordingly. The frames are ready. Go to the prototype section. To complete this prototype, we need to connect all tab items to the corresponding pages. From the first frame, select the pig tab and connect it to the second frame. Make sure you're using Smart Animate to have a smooth animation. Select the fish tab and connect it to the third frame. Repeat these steps for the other tabs as well. Now we're done. Let's see a preview and try it. It works perfectly. But that was a lot of work, right? What if we have many tabs in our application? Don't worry, we have another way to do this. Variables can help us save time. Remove this two frames and back to design mode. Make sure everything is deselected. In the right panel, select the local variable icon. Click on Create Variable. Select String. Name it Selected Item. And set the initial value to First. Select each content section and make them a component. Select all of them. In the right panel, combine all of them as a variant. Choose a name for your component set. Make sure name of property match with the selected tab. Set the rooster to first. Pig the second. And fish is the third. Replace the content with our new component. From the right panel, hover on the property. You can see a little variable icon here. Select the variable we made. Now they are connected. Select the tab and do the same for selected property. Go to Prototype mode and select the Pig tab. Under the Interaction section, click on plus icon. It automatically create an on-click interaction. From this section, choose Change to and change the selected to Second. Set the animation to Smart Animate. Click on the little plus and choose Set Variable. Find Selected Item and change the value to Second. Do the same for the Fish and Rooster tabs. All set. Let's test it out. Perfectly done. 
This method of prototyping is efficient, but what if we have a more complex page? Should we make all our page content into components? Actually, no. Choose your prototyping method based on your pages and data. Sometimes the first method works better than using components. Let me know in the comments which component you think we should build next. Menus, cards, modals. The possibilities are endless. Hit subscribe to stay tuned for more videos where we build reusable components for systemic designs. Until then, stay creative.